Hey guys, here today. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hi guys, today. Why is I got such a weird eye? Today I'm here with a video on this palette, the Modern Renaissance palette. This is my favourite palette, literally. I just. I just love it. Look at those colours. These are like the perfect autumn colours. Like, I know it's not autumn anymore. <coughs> but I still love it. <laughs> I need a drink. This look is like one of my favourites right now. It's just such a nice, like, pinky, reddy, orangey tone, like, in the back. It is just so nice. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. There we go. Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. If you want to go all out. That's what I can call it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really... I wouldn't say this is an everyday look. I wear it every day sometimes. But... I love it. If you guys want to see how I did on this look, then you can just keep on watching. Thank you for watching my video. Okay, so I'm starting off with my Nivea moisturiser. This is a really affordable moisturiser and it's actually really good. I use this every day and I have really dry skin and this I just use day and night and it's really great. And it's a great base to use so I'm putting that onto my face in order for me to put my foundation on. I realised at the beginning of this video on the intro I didn't even introduce myself. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, my, my name is Zoe. <laughs> So yeah, I do have a name. That's my name. Anyway, so I'm just buffing that into my... Buffing? What? Well, rubbing it into my skin. I am just doing that. Then I'm going straight in with my eyes using my palette and my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just going to put that on my eyes. Now I'm going in with my first transition shade, Burnt Orange. This I'm just going to be moving around my crease for the first base to start with. Just blending that in on both eyes. I'm not being precise with this at all. Now I'm going in again with my second colour. I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> um, Buon Fresco, I have no idea. That is just... I have no idea how to pronounce that. But yeah, I'm just putting that all over my lid, just as a base colour, on top of that orange tone. This colour is more of a mauve pink, but really light. Now I'm going in with my favourite colour of the whole palette, is Red Orchard. This colour I'm using the Naked brush that came with the Naked One palette. This I'm just going to pack on on the corners of my eyes. This colour is like a, a dark red brown. This is going to help with my smokiness that I want to have on the corners of my eyes. Then I'm blending that out with my fluffy blending brush. Now for the darkest shade of the whole palette, Cypress Umbra. I'm using my brush that actually came with the palette which has two sides and I'm using the flattest. Just putting that into the corners of my eyes and partly on my crease to give my look more depth and smokiness. Then I'm going in with the lightest colour, Tempera. I'm using this to highlight my brow bone using my fluffy brush just to give it just a light dusting. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. This isn't for my eyes, this is actually for my eyebrows. And I'm using the darkest colour, Triple Fudge. And then I'm using my Real Techniques Detail Brush. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline Brow Gel in the colour Transparent. That's just to set them. Now I'm starting off with my face. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I have that in the colour 12, Natural Rose. I'm using my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. I've already wetted that, so I didn't show that on camera. But I'm just going to blend that into my skin. I really love this foundation. It's such a great high coverage smooth finishing foundation is so so nice i do really highly recommend this if you like full coverage and i just love it and i use it every day now i'm going in with my favorite concealer lasting perfection ultimate wear concealer by collection <laughs> i've got that in the color fair this is literally the best concealer. It's just so high coverage. I used to... I even haven't really had this for that long, honestly. But YouTube started raving about it and I was like, oh, it's actually really cheap. Like, this is really, like, it's literally like five pounds. So I'm just putting that everywhere. Where well, I have redness and spots and bags. I'm blending that in with my blending sponge once again. I'm then setting all of that with my infallible 24 hour matte powder just with a stippling brush my eyelashes are honestly awful <laughs> I have to curl my eyelashes for like 10 minutes <laughs> so now I'm going in with curling my eyelashes ready to put my eye makeup on well my mascara <laughs> I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is like the best mascara, honestly. This is another thing that I found by YouTube. <laughs> but on, like my eyelashes just droop down, but this really does help. Now I'm putting on my eyeliner. I literally wear flicked eyeliner every day. I love it so much. I feel so naked without it, it's so weird. But I'm using my Maybelline Master Ink Matte Eyeliner. This is like a really great eyeliner, honestly. It never smudges for me and I've always had problems with that since I wear it all the time. So, in all weathers. <laughs> so yeah, like, I really, really like this eyeliner. Now this, I can't even tell you what it is. I have had this for so long. I can't even say what, I can't even see what it says in that, honestly. I just know it's in the colour Sun Bronze, <laughs> number 22. <laughs> but this is what I'm using to bronze up my face. Because I am like the palest person you'll ever meet. And now I'm going in with my Anastasia Be 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 Beverly Hills contour palette. I'm 
contouring my cheekbones, as you do. I always do my temples also. And I've lately been starting my bridge of my nose. Now for blush, I'm using my collection Speedy Blush in the colour Tickled Pink. I'm using my Real Techniques blending brush for this. I don't usually wear a lot of blush, but I just thought I'd add a little bit of colour into my cheeks. Now I'm using my highlighter Blushing Hearts Triple Bake Blusher. This is in the colour, I think, Iced Hearts. There's like so many to choose from, but I'm using the lightest colour in this, which is honestly like the only one I use. The rest are like, the other two colours are really nice, but the middle one's too pink and the second one is a little bit too dark. Honestly, the one at the bottom could be a bronzer for me, like not a proper bronze, bronzer, but just, or a blush actually, because it's quite like rose goldy. So you could actually use that as a blush. Now I'm using that same highlighter just to highlight the inner of my eyes. Then I'm going in with the colour Venetane Red, I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. For underneath my eyes on my, not my waterline, what's it called? I don't know, underneath my eyes, just to smoke it out a little bit. Then I'm using this lip liner that I actually don't even know what it's called. I don't even know where it's from to be honest. It's so tiny and old but I love this liner. I should really get a new one but I don't know where it's from. Then just to top it all off I'm going on going on going in with my NYX soft matte lip cream in the colour London. And that's it for the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I <laughs> It was very different <laughs> to, to make, but I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!